and I was part of the mutiny here in 2000. I was held as a hostage here in uh, the ops room. And the morning after the mutiny, when there was no officers in that particular area, I saw the danger of having soldiers who had no officers in place. And that's the challenge for us. So being a transformation leader is important because you need to lead by example. The way you lead needs to become something that is inherent in you. It has to be part of the passion, your compassion, to do things that is right. So the better soldier watches you, listens to your command, he understands that that is coming from the heart and not coming from the pockets. I was covering that November 2nd, 2000 mutiny. Uh, we heard all the gunshots, the mortars, the explosions, the immediate curfew that had to be put, several people in the dark. What was going in your head when you were held hostage? You came in as a young man wanting to be part of the RFMF. One of the darkest days came on that day when definitely we had chaos here. How will you use that to ensure that we never go back there? That experience is something that nobody wants to experience. And it's incumbent for the RFMF today and those uh, within the nation itself to always understand that they really need not look far back to understand the consequences of such decisions that I made on behalf of the nation or on behalf of individuals. Because families become affected. You have uh, men, husbands, uh, sons of a family that have died on both sides of the house. And that becomes a huge issue for the RFMF, especially that we've come this far today and we're trying to move into a new path. And we need to go back. We need to reconcile with our past. We need to give closure to the families that have been affected. We need to give closure to the soldiers here within RFMF who are confused about that particular moment, what happened. Not just the soldiers, but also, I hope, the general public as well. Though we may not be sharing the information with the public, but the fact that we are moving into this direction, I hope it provides some sense of assurance, some closure to their levels of uncertainty and insecurity about the RFMF. Just to show them that we want to move in a direction that will be of benefit to the country as a whole.